Hey guys, it's Igor Fraga here. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm today here to, to talk a little bit um, of my thoughts and tips for the Nubugrink Notch Life Fair Secret Experience, how to get everything gold. And uh, the first thing you want to do is just do the sectors. You, you, you have to really know um, well the track. Like you, you gotta know more or less the breaking points, um, where like which curbs you can use it, where is the bumps, um, where's like the tricky points that you you gotta be a bit more careful and all the stuff like that because the the, the first the first point is it's memorize all those details around the, the whole track. So yeah, th this is gonna take a little bit of time, like um, probably um, around one week or or even a little bit more, um, depending on you know. Uh, each player, but uh, yeah, uh, to, to, to really get um, into the knowledge of the track, you get um, a little bit of time. And uh, at the beginning, it's it's gonna be um, um, a little suffering because you you, you don't know the track, uh, you'll be afraid. Um, it's challenging. So yeah, at the at the beginning, it's it's a little bit tough. But once you get the, the feeling of it, then you, you start to improve like very quickly, and then I think you'll be able to enjoy a little bit a little bit more this track um i really love that track but at the beginning i was like the same thing so yeah make sure you understand the track very well and uh yeah the first sector are not so difficult um at least in my point of view i think they are very different uh compared to each other so it's a little bit easy to memorize but then once you um finish the carousel like from the sector eight until uh, the sector 10 it's gonna be very uh, very tough and there is some corners that are very look alike to to each other so it's very easy to kind of lost which point of the track you are so yeah um like try to emphasize a little bit more um those three sectors because it's it's gonna be um the trickiest path i think um at least it was for me when i was uh starting to learn the track and uh yeah so these are like more or less the characteristic of the track and also another thing that um i think it's 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 good to to note um is that this track doesn't have really a lot of heavy breaking points like it's it's gonna be a lot of the flow like you keep you have to keep the momentum of the car um kind of rolling and keep going um most part of the time and there's a lot of like uh, corners back to back like s sections and stuff like that and really you want to carry speed through all of that like if you try to prioritize the exit on the one but there is already a, a corner next to it like you'll be losing the entry and not, not getting anything on the exit because there is another corner just right next to it so you you, you gotta like keep that in mind and uh, it's it's very important to know where is the heavy braking zone like where you really have to stop the car or where you can um, actually keep the car uh, rolling and keep the momentum higher um, to, to gain time so yeah um, for for the car like the, the car behavior um, the the entry stability is it's actually too good it's kind of understeer a little bit so I prefer to use um, a little bit of um, brake bias towards towards the rear um, around like two and five somewhere in between I was using three four for this uh, talking overlap and um, yeah I find out that, that um, it helps a little bit more on the entry to, to rotate the car and then for the throttle you gotta be really patient um, like the steering input have to be very close to the center for finally you can applicate like 100% until there you 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 have to wait in somewhere between around I don't know 60 to 80% and then finally uh, when the, the steering wheel it's returning more to the center to apply 100% otherwise the car will be uh, snapping um, having wheel spin, wheel spin and this uh, will make you lose a lot of time so it's it's something that you really have to um, be careful about so yeah I, th I think that's all the characteristic of the cars and, and trucks and finally let's let's go to the lap and I'll be um, talking over to it so yeah guys we are about to start the lap brake on the white line turning early as well this will help the car to stay on the inside there's a little bit of bunking so it's it's good and um, use all the track on the approach here turning early to make sure you hit the apex and also to stay flat out there's a brown path on the grass just here you'll be breaking down shift to fourth and then third use a little bit the curb patient on the throttle little adjustment here hit the curb there's gonna be a bump so yeah be careful on the transition 
Um, there's a changing color on the asphalt, it's your braking point. Use the curb on the inside and then careful on the exit here because um, it's always tricky there. For the next one, um, it's just a little lift. If you can tap a little bit um, on the inside curb, just like that will help at, uh, on the rotation of the car. If you cannot go there, it's, it's not going to be like a massive loss. And also another trick with this car is to um, wait that the steering wheels be closed at the center to apply 100%. And it's flat out for this one, very close on the curb. And after, uh, when it's almost finishing the curb, you'll be braking, downshift to third, then it's a late apex. And the late apex here will help um, at the at the exit, you know, because the, the steering wheel, the steering wheel input will be a little um, closer to the center, and you'll be able to accelerate faster. Just a little brake, carry the momentum. Same here. And for that last one, it's a heavier braking. Bring back to the apex, use all the curb on the inside here. Be careful on the exit uh, with the traction. Second gear is tricky. For the next one, it's a little tap on the brake. Carry as much speed as you can. Not very important on the throttle at the exit. Once the car is on a straight line, just start to brake already for, for, for this one. Don't overshoot the corner because you'll be losing a lot of time. On the second board on the left side, it's the braking for this corner. Keep in third, all the way close to the, to the apex. Um, flat out through DCSs, go all the way wide. Little brake, but a long brake. Finish the rotation on the exit with, with the throttle. Heavy braking here to the first gear. As soon as the car is like on a straight line, you can go flat out. Just be careful on the transition. And uh, almost finishing the curb, you'll be braking, downshift to third, patient on the throttle because you'll be applying steering wheel. Early brake, but a little brake. So make sure you can hit the, uh, hit the apex very closely to the curb and keep the momentum as well. For the next one, I don't know the braking point to be honest. It's very tricky, but it's a definitely a late apex. So yeah, wait, wait, wait and bring back the car in and just let the car go wide like this because then you have less angle on the steering wheel. Um, making sure that you can apply the throttle earlier so you gain a lot of speed through all this uh, uphill section. Make a good difference if you exit um, very well there. And then for the next kink, there's gonna be like a um, concrete curb. As soon as you pass the, the concrete curb at the finish, you'll be braking fifth gear very closely to the curb, use all the track. Um, keep it flat when you are arriving uh, to the curb on the next one here brake and downshift to second gear keep all the way tight and very patient on the throttle and then there's like few kinks on the on the curbs and for the last one here you brake downshift to second gear be careful to not overshoot um, this the, the carousel and the exit have to be around there um, pause there to, to see where I exit because Exiting early or later will make, uh, make the car kind of unstable. At the beginning of the curb break, don't touch the curbs here because we'll unstabilize the car. Early braking and make sure you can hit the apex and keep a greater momentum. Uh, control the throttle for the first one and for the second little tap on the brake, uh, no need to downshift to third and uh, keep it flat. Just a little lift and then a heavier braking for for the past one this one is a um, little less on the brakes for here as well it's kind of similar idea and then for the next one it's a heavier braking patience on the throttle and especially the next one is a lot heavier and yeah late apex don't touch the inside curb and use all the outside curb but don't touch the grass otherwise you lose a lot of traction on the jumping you brake and downshift one gear Finish the rotation with the throttle, but be careful because on the fourth gear, the car wanna be unstable, wanna slide a little bit. Once you upshift to fifth, it's gonna be a lot more stable. Keep it flat all the way um, to the next right-hander. Uh, don't shift one gear for this one. Stay on the right side. And then two, two downshift for the next one. I missed a little bit the apex, it was a little late. Be careful on the exit, it's very tricky. Keep a great momentum through here third gear and use all the track don't try to bring back early the car 
just a little little break use all the all the track because this will also help the apex for the last bit Ooh. <laughs> ah, this is quite tiring but yeah we we could uh, we could get um, all the way through um, through this long straight line a little time to, to breathe a little bit and then um, after the pitch time board there's like a um, short left hander and there there is two kings and for the second one for the right hander one after the curb finishes it's where you start to braking um, now just the brakes a little bit it's always tricky here and use all the inside curb keep it tight here and brake and turning earlier so yeah that's a full up on the noble green notch lifer ah. Yeah, for, for the last for the last corner, I overshoot a little bit the entry. I mean, I, I lost probably I don't know, um, maximum not tens. But yeah, you, you can keep it on on the second gear. You don't have to don't shift to first. Uh, but as I overshoot, I I did that. Ah, okay. <laughs> so finally we did it. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what what you think about it. If you wanna. Um, me to do it on other circuit experience or maybe on, on the licenses um, so yeah uh, let me know in the comments and uh, if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button leave the like button as well if you enjoy the content and uh, yeah thanks for watching and see you guys on the next video